Hello audience, and welcome to this week's episode of Will It Die? That's D-Y-E, I'm not trying to play God. As always, I'm joined by my faithful sidekick, The Edge, and today we'll be looking at nature for our dyes. Edge, did you know that nature is full of colors? Because I did not. And did you know that we can use those natural colors to make our lives more colorful? Or you're about to learn how today. All sorts of natural products have been used for coloring, like cabbages, beets, onion skins, and avocado pits. Even weird things like snail mucus has been used. In the ancient Mediterranean, the mucus of the Hexaplex trunculus, a medium-sized sea snail, was used for making a purple-blue dye. This dye was highly prized, but prohibitively expensive, because it required 10 to 12,000 shells for a single gram of dye. Today, we'll be looking at a much more obtainable dye found in most grocery stores. It's derived from the plants of the ginger family that is native to the Indian subcontinent. It really isn't a surprise to what I'm talking about since it's in the title up there, but I'm of course talking about turmeric. More specifically, the root of the turmeric plant, which is dried and ground to make the powder we are all familiar with. For anyone who's cooked with turmeric, we all know how much it stains fingers in cookware, so imagine how well it'll dye. Aside from being a great natural dye, turmeric and the curcumin, a major component of turmeric, have a long history in traditional medicine throughout Southeast Asia. The plant even made its way to Tahiti, Hawaii, and Easter Island before the arrival of Europeans. The plant's health benefits are still not fully understood, but regardless, it is an integral part of cuisine and clothing dye. So let's go ahead and move on to our prep. All right, so my producers have said we'll have to do the clothes dye at the end. So I guess we'll get back to our normally scheduled and normal program of well extracts. <laughs> so to start with that, we'll begin our sample prep by assembling our sample cell, the Q cup. So the first thing we're going to do is disassemble our sample cell. And into the bottom, I'll go ahead and insert one of our Q disks, which acts as our inline filtration for the edge. I'll make sure it's laying nice and flat around the bottom. I'll take the two components, assemble them together, and then our sample cell has been completed. Next up, I'll go ahead and take out our pre-weighed turmeric sample. I'll go ahead and pour it directly into the Q-cup. For a dry spice sample, we recommend more, no more than a two gram sample size. And after the spice has been added, I'll go ahead and take our Q-screen, insert it into the opening, press down with the tool, and just like that, our sample preparation is done. I'll go ahead and take our Q-cup, add it into the rack. I'll take one of our centrifuge extraction vials, place it beside the Q-cup inside the rack. I'll take the whole rack, and slide it on into the edge. And then I'll go ahead and come around, go to our methods, select the method we'll be using, add it to the queue, press play, and press start. All right, and I'll go ahead and let the edge run, and I'll see you all in a few minutes. And now that the edge has finished its run, we have here our extracted sample, as well as our extracts. You can see that the extract is nice and clear and filtered thanks to that cutis that we put in. Fun fact, turmeric will actually be yellow in acidic and neutral solutions, but reddish brown in alkaline solutions. So it can be used as a rough pH indicator. Regarding what you might be looking for in this extract, spices are often extracted for pesticide residues or things like mycotoxins. Pesticides are of the utmost importance for analysis, as many have deleterious effects on the human body. In terms of other things to look out for, turmeric samples have been shown to be adulterated with lead chromates. For this elemental analysis, you need to turn to another CEM offering, the Mars 6 Microwave Digestion System. Thank you all for joining me for today's episode of World Extracts. Hopefully we've given you a little more to think about, or even taught you a couple things, and such as the fact that turmeric has an R in it and isn't turmeric, like I've been thinking all this time. <laughs> Regardless, I'll see you all next time for World Extract. And for more information, please visit our website at CEM.com.
All right, so now back to the real show. We got the turmeric, we've got, let's see, vinegars down there, tongs, stock pots. Okay, I think we are all good. So we gotta get that water boiling first, then we'll add the vinegar, add the turmeric, then we can add the t-shirts. Right, t-shirts, that was you, Edge. Where did you put those? Oh, over here. Ah. Edge, why did you get yellow t-shirts? 